Good morning from behind my bug-filled windshield or windscreen, whatever you call it. Don't worry, there'll be a lot more as the day goes on. We're already rolling. We stayed the night in Rocky Mountain House, Alberta, and we're on our way up to a town called DeBolt, Alberta, a farm nearby there. It's also nearby uh, Donnelly, Alberta, up in uh, sort of the northwestern part of Alberta. We're gonna get the rest of this freight off today, I hope. Should be there around four o'clock. So I just got, I gotta get a hold of them yet to make sure that they'll be able to unload me then, but chances are high. Engine may be moved for 40 kilometers. I was here first. Well, you ever wonder how long a train in Canada is? We're just in time. All you Europeans are gonna be amazed. <laughs> See if you can count how many cars there is. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit though, okay? So you're gonna have to count really fast. <laughs> how many there was I probably sped it up too fast <laughs> we gotta wait till those arms go all the way up and the lights shut off there we go let me tell you I'm in Alberta without telling you I'm in Alberta these things are everywhere <laughs> Massive loads, and these are smaller ones. You should see some of the loads that get hauled around here. This guy in front of me is going left. This guy to the right of me is going straight, I believe. And I'm going left as well. Oh, and I didn't make it through that intersection? What? Well, this is a confusing intersection. There's two sets of lights. Oh, man. That's weird. So there's a set of lights to get across this lane of traffic, and then there's another set of lights to get across the other direction of traffic. That is really weird. I guess that's the best way of doing it. I don't know. Look at these guys go. Remember what I said the other day? If you're ever gonna buy a truck, ask them what they haul. If they've hauled anything like these two units, walk away. Those engines get beat up. That's a lot of weight they're pulling right there. But it's up to you, I mean, don't let me tell you what to do. You're a free man, free woman, right? You do what you wanna do. A bit of a tight squeeze here. I don't know how those wide loads are gonna get through here. They're behind me now, I got in front of them, but I don't know how they're gonna fit through here. That will be interesting. I kind of wish I was still behind. I want to see how they do it. They're never going to make it through here. That's going to be interesting. They're like a half mile behind me. I wish I could stay and watch. Trailer. And 
and I have a reload booked. We booked a load out of Calgary, Alberta, going back home. So I'm going to pick that up at 11 a.m. tomorrow. So as soon as I'm empty here, I'm going to zip down to Calgary, which is probably about, what, six to seven hours from up here near Grand Prairie? I'm thinking. I should have the hours on my clock as long as it doesn't take too long to unload me here, but there's only really like four pieces on my trailer. So we should be able to get down to Calgary, get ready to get uh, loaded in the morning. I mean, I've only got to stop for eight hours at night, right? So to be there at 11 a.m., really as long as I'm there by what? Two, three in the morning? Two in the morning? Oh yeah, I'll have no problem. We'll load that up, tie it down, and just, just like that. Zip across the prairies back home. So if you hear that sound, that was me. Well, we're on the gravel, so that means we're getting closer to the farm where I'm delivering. Got a bit of a valley here. time going in here. This road is really wide, like exceptionally wide. It's obviously made for massive farm equipment. Yikes. Washboards are pretty intense. See this? This is. Oh my. Look at that. <laughs> oh boy. Oh man, that's thick. It's a thick layer on there. Look at that. A little dusty. Oh, a little bit dusty. The triaxle in the back here picked up quite a bit too. I'm hoping most of this dust will just blow off, like I said. Man. Well. You can't go out to the farm without taking a little bit of the farm back, back home with you. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I'm sorry, Blue. I'm so sorry. Look at that in there. Oh, it's everywhere. Ah, it's okay. You're a working truck. I mean, I think I think it's a pretty working truck, but still a working truck. 
All right, I gotta get these straps off and you're gonna come unload me right here. This side too. Thanks. Everything's just got like a layer of dust on it. I already loosened everything on that side. Figured I'd let you join me to loosen everything on this side. There we go. Dirt never hurt nobody. So I undid my straps or my strap on my tarps. I'm gonna move my tarps to the front of the trailer once we get this off. I want them right behind my cab. I don't like them so far back. I don't wanna advertise them. If they're at the front of the trailer, if anyone wants to steal them, that means they've got to jump up on my truck or, you know, run down the trailer, jump up on the trailer to get them here. And I'll feel that in my truck if anybody's on my trailer. But if they're back here, I mean, uh, call me paranoid, I don't know. Consider it street smart or truck stop smart. I've never had tarps or anything stolen before. I've had a CB antenna stolen before though. You'll see on my truck, I only got one CB antenna on there. <laughs> one broke off and I have an extra one, but it's a black one. And the one I have on there, they were both red. So I didn't want a red and a black one. So now I either have to go and buy another black one or go and buy another red one. Or if I can find blue ones, I'll go and buy two blue ones. I'll probably just get black though. That might be too much blue. We'll, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Just about ready for him. He's going to be back in five minutes. He's just going to go and get a loader. This piece on the bottom here is really heavy, so they need a pretty big loader to unload it. And it's really long too, right? So it's either that or they get two, two forklifts. Right. We'll see what they, what they come up with. get these all rolled up should be out of here in like half an hour oh man i'm sorry blue i'm sorry yeah <sighs> yeah you just you just let that fly right off you okay i'll get that cleaned off soon he's got to grab it from just the right angle because it's such a long piece and it's heavier on one end Trying to find that balance point. There we go, he's got it. There he goes. So now that we've got this stuff off the front of the trailer, I'm gonna go and uh, pick up my tarps, get on the trailer here, bring them up to the front, and tie them down right here. I'm glad I have them in bags, because now all of this dust just gets on the bag. I'm gonna take the tarps out next time I do like a Kenora run. The tarps will be dust free, mostly. There we go. Right where they belong. Up front with me. Just got these last two skids, and that'll be it. There he comes. I've got about eight hours left on my clock, and it's about seven and a half hours apparently to Calgary, so be a little close. We'll see how far we make it. Got to find parking when I get there too. All right, now that we're done, sent in all of my paperwork. To the office let them know that my trailer's empty now i have to head down to my reload so i punched it into my gps it's 737 kilometers away 737 kilometers in miles 
458 miles. And I have seven hours and 26 minutes available. So I'm probably not gonna make it all the way there. I'll make it as far as I can. And uh, we'll do the rest in the morning. Won't be a problem, we'll get there on time. We load up at 11 a.m. and then, like I said before, back east across the prairies, fast as we can to get home. All righty, let's blow this popsicle stand. Time to leave the farm. Gotta go back down that same dusty road so I'll have twice as much dust in my truck. Woo! That's okay, gotta get a little dirty sometimes, right? Gotta get a little dirty to get the job done. Nothing wrong with a little dirt. That's why God invented water, right? This farm is like middle of nowhere, Alberta. I love it.
I've got three hours and six minutes left on my clock. It's about three hours to Calgary from here. I still don't know where we're gonna stop. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time quite, maybe. Like it'll be down to the minute if I get all the way to Calgary. I'll probably wanna pull over and stop earlier than the city just to make sure I don't run out of, run out of time. I got a few hours yet to decide. Uh, we'll find somewhere to park for night. It would be nice to stop right at the shipper, but I don't think there's any overnight parking there. And here we sit at the end of our day in Lacombe, Alberta. I might have been able to make it all the way to Calgary, but I don't know if I would have found a parking spot any, at any truck stop around the city, so I'm not even going to bother with it. I stopped at a rest area here. I've got about two hours to drive tomorrow yet. We'll do that tomorrow. We'll drive two hours down, then we'll get loaded. Hopefully it's a quick loading process, and then we'll start headed east across the prairies. We'll see how far we get, and then we'll do the rest of the next day. So thanks for hanging out with me today, everybody. It was a fun day. We went up to the farm way up in, uh, well, not way up, but up, up northern Alberta, middle of nowhere. It was a lot of fun. I love going to visit the farmers. Always real good down-to-earth people. Nice to talk to. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below, especially if this is your first video that you've made it all the way through to the end. Let me know down below. Love to welcome you here. I'll see you in tomorrow's video.